Hello Virgo, welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Virgo 23rd, Virgo, for March 23rd to March 31st, 2020. So I'm putting it out there because YouTube recently showed me how many views I get on my videos and I was pretty shocked at how many views I get. So they really pushed us to, to, to get subscribers to be able to keep our channel on YouTube. So I just want to put this out there that it really helps the channels that you view to subscribe to them. Because they kind of make us depend on the subscribers to keep our channel up. So if you can subscribe to me, I really appreciate it. Thank you to all the views and all the current and past subscribers. And if you don't want notifications, just don't hit the bell icon. And you can subscribe without hitting the bell icon, and then it won't give you notifications every time I upload a video. It will not interfere with your other notifications. So that's just a way to look at it that helps me out and gives you a heads up on how it works on YouTube. So there's no way this can connect with every single Virgo out there, and the masculine feminine energies can be vice versa. So I hope you all are doing well. I know the state right now of the world is just heart-wrenching, to say the least. Very much so. So I'm going to start with the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle cards, Virgo. The first one we have for you, Leaping Through the Air. A plan you have made is on track. If you are waiting for something... Get to work and stop putting off ideas or projects you are considering. So something else that I noticed yesterday out of my Mystical Cats tarot deck, there was a card that had this little flying fish on there and I noticed it for the first time yesterday. And so I went back and viewed these cards to see what it was. And I'm just shocked that I have a whole different deck of cards from a different maker and everything that actually has one of these little fish. So I'll be shocked. Maybe it'll come up in this reading here and I can point it out to you. But it is shocking what the cards reveal to you, to me at certain times. Just shocking how some days they just point out certain stuff. So they're getting better. I'm getting better. Trying to pay attention to everything they try and tell me. And sometimes I just don't know how to say it. So... Okay, so this card says, this is an affirmation card that lets you know you are on the right path. Remember to listen to your inner guidance. Your guidance sees you achieving success in everything you do. It is time for intention setting and creating new goals. Come up with innovative ways to solve challenges and rely on your experience and networks to arrive at solutions. Put your energy into intentional movements that take you toward your goals. Don't stop now. Continue to act with focus, dynamo, and believe in yourself. Make the most of a surge of energy or a free weekend to burst ahead. Reflect on the positives that might come from acting now. Imagine your outcome and envision your success. This is a time for forward motion and results. Flying fish can fly above the water for short distances. They do this to elude the larger fish that hunt them. Flying fish show you how to deal with emotional situations that might be impeding your progress. Rise above whatever might be bogging you down. There is a choice and an opportunity to shift out of an old situation or emotion. With a little effort, you could be skimming to where you need to be. Okay, so the next one that comes out for you, Virgo, is... Look beyond the surface. Avoid becoming distracted by surface issues. Focus on the underlying motivation, cause, or beauty in a situation. Seek ways to bring depth to your world. And so that first number, if you break it down, was 9. And if you break these down, it's 10. So it amazes me when the cards go in order sometimes. Cards amaze me a lot. but Okay, so this says... Allow your senses to become aware of the perfection that surrounds you. Allure exists in all aspects of your life, in nature, in relationships, in your own being. If you're missing it, assess what you have been focusing your attention on and look for the beauty in your life instead. If you look, you are sure to find it. Get in touch with your sensuality through sight, smell, taste, and touch. Draw on your senses and experience contentment and deep satisfaction. It is time to treat yourself to a day of self-care. 
This could mean going to a spa, receiving a massage, enjoying new experiences, or simply spending more time with people you love. Discover new ways to creatively express yourself through dance, exercise, outdoor activity, painting, music, drama, or other art forms. This may be the perfect time to take up a new hobby, one which enables you to access the center part of yourself. And it talks about at first sight, it may appear that whales have warts covering their faces, bodies, and tails, but the bumps on a humpback whale snout are tubercles, and their bodies become home to sea barnacles. So this means the barnacles on a whale's face are fully developed and immobile. The appearance of barnacles does not diminish the majesty and beauty of the whale. In fact, it gives the whale's body an interesting detail. Okay, so then the next one for the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck is 9, Amble with Contentment. Waiting rather than acting is going to be most advantageous now. So you have 9, 10, 9, if that means anything to any of you. Trust your gut feelings on your, or your sensitivity to give you information about your current situation. Let go of any doubts or uncertainties as they are only going to cause you to become off balance. You may want some personal time to clear your thoughts. Things are coming to fruition so trust that you only need to be present for this to unfold in the most positive manner. By allowing things to flow to you, you will enable yourself to become clear about your decisions and your goals. While you might be feeling tired and wanting to give up, this card is about having faith and hanging in there. Have the patience to just allow. Take a step back and trust that the spiritual guidance you need is right there, ready and willing to assist you. Seahorses are considered mild-mannered and sedate creatures which are happy to roam the oceans. Their tiny stature is structured for sauntering. They do not travel at speed. They truly emanate the energy of patience and happiness. Seahorses are content where they are and do not hurry when making changes. The seahorse will wrap its tail around a piece of coral or some other structure to resist a strong current. They remind you to hold tight and bide your time to find yourself being rushed or overwhelmed. Bide your time if you find yourself being rushed or overwhelmed. Wow. Okay, so now I'm going to start with the Mystical Cats Tarot. And the first one we have for you, Virgo, is um, Three of Earth, which is Coworkers. So this is Fire Queen. This is somebody who people like to be around. She could be angry. She's beautiful. When she comes to Rome, everyone notices her. They're excited she's there. Um, but this could be saying that she is angry. So Five of C. This is saying that somehow you have hurt your pride. You may have done something that you regret. And this is a temporary feeling or emotion, and you're the only one in this picture, Virgo. So you're probably making a bigger deal out of it than anybody else. And why a Virgo holds themselves to such a high standard, I get it, but sometimes you guys go overboard on it, basically. So Seven of Earth is you waiting for something to do with family, I feel. So I don't know if you're waiting, yeah, you're just waiting for something with family. You're either waiting them to come, arrive, or something. So Fire Kitten. Fire Kitten is possibly making a bad decision. You have to be careful to look at all the outcomes of a decision you're going to make. You could get burned. You could be playing with fire. There's something that you are interested in that might not be good for you. So three of C is friendship. This is friends around you. So I'm wondering if it's a friend. This makes me concerned that a friend is going to cross you, is what I'm seeing out of this. Because here's the kitty doing something to hurt itself, or it's getting ready to burn itself, and then the friend card comes out. So I don't know if one of your friends has turned on you, or they're going to betray you, but that's kind of what that says to me. So then you have Four of Earth. Four of Earth is somebody who's selfish, somebody who takes and doesn't give. And that's not you, Virgo. 
So nine of sky is somebody very stressed out. They're overwhelmed with the state of the world. I can imagine this is how a lot of people feel. So yeah, somebody is overwhelmed, burdened. They can't calm down, anxiety. So eight of fire is somebody getting blamed for something they didn't do. So I don't know if you blamed somebody for something they didn't do or somebody blamed you for something they didn't do. I almost feel like somebody blamed you. Somebody is deflecting some sort of issue off themselves and they're trying to put it on you is what I'm picking up. Two of C. This is love. Somebody loves you, Virgo. Somebody wants to offer love to you. So the world, obviously, is when something ends and you move into a new cycle. So I feel like because the sun is right here, your world is changing and you're moving into a more prosperous life. I know that's hard to believe right now with everything going on, but this basically says that somehow a lot of you Virgos are planning your future and... You're going to move into the future. You know what you want to do. You know where you want to go. And you're going to do it is what it looks like. So this is the strength card. This could represent a Leo in your birth chart or a Leo in your life. And again, some of you are probably Virgo, Leo, Cuspers. You're born on the day it changes from Leo to Virgo. So it seems how the Leo card came out. That's totally what that could mean. So Nine of Earth is you, again, reflecting in the past and you're going to move into the future with something you're not going to take with you. So again, this is your future and there's something you're going to leave in the past that isn't beneficial to you anymore. I feel like it's a pattern or a behavior. So I'm going to switch over to the Chakra Wisdom deck now. Queen of Coins, beautiful. This is you, Virgo. So this is intuition. This is somebody bringing a gift to you possibly, or this is you just being giving to other people and loving, either with your money or your time, you're nurturing, you're just offering a lot to other people is what this card says to me. So the Magician. So this says that you have everything in your life you need right now, Virgo, to make your life what you want it to be. You have the cups, you have the wands, you have the swords, and you have the pentacles. So you have whatever you desire to, to make your life what you want. And the card above is a lot of intuition. So intuition and magic, I mean, how beautiful is that? So Eight of Cups. This is a couple things. This could be negative karma, boomeranging and coming back to somebody who put negative karma out there in the world. Or it could be somebody who was in a relationship and it just wasn't balanced. It wasn't even. Somebody was taking more than they were giving. So somebody isn't going to complete to Ten of Cups. They're, they're ending it at Eight of Cups. So Four of Coins is you putting a guard up around your heart. Something has you feeling like you need to guard your love. Maybe somebody hurt you or you're just nervous, but that's what that means. So then you have Ten of Coins. Ten of Coins is your birthright, inheritance, family business, family inheritance. Something with your birthright. And that's been coming out a lot, I think, for Virgo. So Princess of Cups is somebody honest offering love. An honest cup of love. Loyalty. Admiration. So then you have Ten of Swords. So you are very, very stressed out. Something has you... And this is a fast action communication chakra. So I don't know if somebody came towards you and voice something that made you take a step back and you're like wow I can't believe they just said that so look you have king of coins this is beautiful it took him a little bit to come out there but he did so this to me is a power couple 
These are two people who are very good hard workers and they can bring the coins. He has a little bigger coin it looks like than her, but she is pretty close to him. So this is a power couple who can just prosper together than they can alone. Together they could be, like I said, a power team. They could accomplish a lot. So this is the chariot. This could mean that your life is taking a new direction. You're moving into a new way of life. Or it could mean you're traveling all of a sudden. Or you're going somewhere. Communication from somebody you haven't heard from for a while. A few of those things. So then you have the hermit. Which is your card, Virgo. This is you. So this could represent clarity. This is fast action communication chakra. This is passion I feel in the dress. So I don't know if there's fast action communication of passion being communicated to you from somebody. But clarity is going to come to you. And again, to me, this represents cuspers. It represents Virgos too, but... it seems to stick out to cuspers when I do the Virgo readings. People who were born on the day the sign changes. So then you have the hanged woman. The hanged woman is somebody who you have to wait. The, the universe feels like you're not ready for something and so they're going to have you wait for it. So three of swords. This is somebody who was I'm trying to figure out how to say it. somebody who was detrimental to a relationship that you were in Virgo I feel like somebody brought a third party into the relationship whether it was a physical person whether it was a job whether it was a pet a family member it could be a number of things but this is a broken heart somebody broke your heart Virgo and I think your last reading was about a broken heart somebody having a third party so Knight of Wands is fast action, communication. I feel like somebody's coming in with an offer, some sort of offer, some sort of opportunity. And he's very emotional, very emotional. Feel free to vice versa the energies, masculine and feminine, if I put a label on one. So this is the High Priestess. This would be somebody who has intuition, somebody who knows their self-worth, you Virgo, somebody who knows how to act with integrity. They know how things are usually going to play out, and people doubt them that they know, and they tell people, I don't know why, but this is somebody who has a lot of guidance from the, um, the divine. This is somebody who has hierarchy, if that makes sense, in the spiritual world. So Five of Wands, this is gossip, lower energies, talking about you, gossiping about you, being jealous of you, whatever lower energy gossip people do. That's what that is. So the star, beautiful, this is your heart chakra and this is love. Either you're offering your love to somebody or somebody wants to offer their love to you, Virgo. But you have a lot of love. I mean, that's not a cup running over, that's like a bowl. So there's a lot of love you have to offer somebody. So Eight of Coins. You have to make a decision about something in your life, some person or something for your future. And you're putting a lot of passion into it. Yeah, you're trying to make a decision. So Three of Coins. This is growth and promotion. I don't know what's going on, Virgo, but you have a lot of coins in here, so let me look. So you have Queen of Coins, Four of Coins, Ten of Coins, King of Coins. And then Eight of Coins and Three of Coins. So you have One, Two, Three, Four, Five, Six. Six coin cards, and you have some of the highest coin cards in the deck. You have the king and queen. You have the ten of coins, which is beautiful. So I feel like somehow a lot of you Virgos are going to prosper. Something is going on. Whether I don't know if it's going to be an inheritance, which I'm sorry if that's the case. But I feel like, yeah, there is a lot of coins in here. I don't know what's going on, Virgos. But I see it a lot. 
So Four of Swords, this is you overthinking some love situation and you have got to take a step back and rest from it. You're overthinking it. You're putting too much thought into it. And it's causing you a hardship. So stop thinking about the love relationship, a love issue. Rest. Take a break from it. You really need to. And I mean with these two you have nothing to worry about, Virgo. These are so beautiful and good. Love is around you. Somebody is honest and loving to you. So don't worry about the Four of Swords. So this is the Fool. This is my precursor to love coming into you. So for those of you who aren't in a relationship, this could be... It's getting ready to change. Look at this. I, I The Fool is my precursor to love. And then the Lover's card come up. I can sometimes tell what cards are going to come up. From the cards I pull. It's crazy. I'm not even going to say which ones I can tell. But when I see the Fool, I usually know that there is a love card somewhere around there. The Fool to me card means that love is coming towards that sign. So now I'm going to pull the Soul's Journey lesson cards for you because we're getting close to time. So the first one for you is Help. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. And that is beautiful, and the green is healing from St. Raphael, it is heart chakra, and it looks like the lotus flower in the center, which is where we all want to get power from. So that is beautiful for that to come up for you. And I know a lot of healthy Virgos are going to go full force helping the world however they can. I know I say it a lot, but Virgos are the healers of the zodiac. So Virgos are going to be more needed right now, I feel, than a lot of others. Of course, we all need all the zodiac signs to work and make life good. But I feel like Virgos are needed because they're healers. So this is success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. So you see the sunshine. I feel the yellow around this card. It has the blue, the green, the purple. It has the passion. It has a lot of different colors in there. So health and success. I feel like a lot, maybe it's going to be a Virgo that is going to find the the um, cure or a, what's it called? You know what I'm thinking, when somebody finds uh, the solution to sickness. So maybe it's a Virgo because health and success is pretty pretty direct. So I feel like a lot of you are going to have success because you are going to know how to move forward and help people and probably help yourself at the same time. So the next card is feeling number two. So a lot of Virgos feel a lot. That's why they're the way they are and people think you know they're kind of cold but they have a lot of feelings and they have to be able to deal with those feelings to go out in public every day and not, not, how do I, not show the world their concerns or whatever because they worry a lot and so maybe you're worrying, maybe that's what that feeling card says, you're just worrying. Watching number 11, so somebody's watching you or you're watching somebody, I feel like somebody's watching you because Virgos don't really watch too many people. I know some people do, but most Virgos don't have time to watch other people. It's just not anything they spend time on. It's just not in their genes. But a lot of people spend a lot of time watching Virgos, I'll tell you that. I don't know why they do, but they do. They're very nosy in Virgos' lives. Alright, so I hope this helps you a lot, Virgo. Thank you, Crosswatchers, and thank you for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you, Virgos.